Oh, welcome back to the ongoing project of trying to make things out of, uh, well, or working with CNC. Uh, as you've seen some of my videos, if, <laughs> if you've looked, uh, I have a little modified Sherline mill that actually nothing left on it is a Sherline, but it started off that way. And I want to do homing switches, limit switches. Uh, I really like these little optical slotted switches. They're very cheap at one of the electronics places near me. They can't even be the size of a dime. Here's uh, one on a, uh, a different mount, a surface mount. And, uh, you know, here's a penny for reference. Not too bad. Easily to conceal on a machine. Well, anyway, nobody I had seen had hooked any in series on the collector. And I'm not being an electronics genius or anything like that, but... Uh, I saw how to make a circuit with one on a fig noggle site. Uh, it also says that the LED should be off until the, the circuit is interrupted, which I find backwards from uh, a closed circuit. I want it to be closed, and when the beam is broken, it breaks the circuit and the machine comes to a halt, or it uses it for a trigger. Uh, I'm going to use a penny because it's opaque. The LED goes out for each sensor. Uh, so I figure I can run my XYZ limits. And when I run a voltage meter across the LED, I do get a significant drop from about 3.5 volts as it's presently configured down to about mm, less than a tenth of a volt, I believe. Uh, and then if I take the LED out, the input voltage jumps up to about 5 and drops down to a little bit over 1. Actually, I'm sorry, it goes to a negative number on my meter, but that could be a bad battery. Who knows, but I'm going to go ahead and test it. The switches are every bit of $1.95 each uh, at my little local shop. And too easy to figure out, too easy to mount if it all works right. Uh, should be immune to swarf uh, the way I'm going to mount it. And uh, it just looks nothing but hopeful. I can't stand the idea of a, a snap action switch and uh, being exposed to the environment I'm going to put it in. See ya.